Hi everyone, it's Danielle with Dr. Emmer's office. We are back doing some Prectora for acne scarring. So our patient has a little bit of cobblestone type texture and for his atrophic acne scars, what we're going to see a lot of improvement from is some skin tightening. So the needles that are here, if you guys wanna look closely, we have this 24 pin tip. These are coated as indicated by this little circle right here. And what that means is that it's going to be very safe for his skin type. So his skin is a little bit darker in tone and he does sometimes get pigmentation. That's going to ensure that we're safe and not causing more problems in the skin. So by using radio frequency, we're, with the needling, we're getting a lot of improvement in some of the lines, breaking down some of that thickened scar tissue and then getting the tightening. If we pull the skin a little bit, a lot of these, I'm gonna turn your head a little bit. If we pull the skin, a lot of these go away. So sometimes removing a little skin if the patient's a candidate or if they're open to it can really improve the appearance. For others, when it's mild, when non-invasives are really a great option, we can use things like this to get that same sort of tightening effect in pretty little downtime and the results turn up pretty quickly. So with even just one treatment, you're getting a lot of improvement. I find that about three to four weeks after your Fractura treatment, you're seeing a lot of skin tightening, a lot of improvement in the texture. Would you agree? How long did it take for you to start seeing some changes? Um, I would agree with everything you just said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. Um, be honest. I, I definitely stand by that. Absolutely. I do it myself. So I'm going to start on the forehead. We're going to check. So we're ready to go. I already told the patient, we start up here first one. Forehead's a little bit more uncomfortable. It's thinner. There isn't quite as much fat. But we get it over with first, and then we work our way down. You know, his scarring is mostly on the cheeks, but by doing this full face, he's going to get a lot of improvement, a lot of tightening, his pores will shrink, he'll keep lines and wrinkles at bay. He's going to just get a lot of full face, a wider range of skin concern improvement. So it'll be great. And of course, if you need a break, you just tell me. We'll stop. So we, last time that we did this treatment, we combined it with Fraxel because both are wonderful for scarring and both are going to cause some degree of remodeling in the tissue. So today, we're only doing Fractura. We use a lot of skincare to make sure that we prepare the skin. It's like doing a really good stretch or a good warm up, warm up before a good workout. Need a little break? Um, okay. So doing good skin care to suppress pigmentation in the skin is like a great warm up before a race, before a good gym workout. You want to make sure that your skin doesn't have this desire to produce more pigment. His skin has a little bit more of the melanocytes, which are the cells that produce pigment in the skin or give him more of a tan than me. And that is why we are very cautious with that. So afterwards, post-treatment, he will follow a pretty pretty thorough skincare regimen oh, like and it includes plant-based and chemical-based brighteners. This will ensure he gets great improvement with little risk of hyperpigmentation. You doing okay? Yep. Awesome. So you can see there's a little bit of pinpoint bleeding. It's not a lot at all. The redness is completely uh, cohesive, there's no gaps in between. You wanna have some good overlap with this treatment. The little pinpoint wood shows that we're getting some radio frequency energy and skin tightening into the deeper levels of the dermis. You get the most tightening from the deep dermis, that's where the collagen matrix is. And that's how we get our results. We typically combine this treatment with things like Clear and Brilliant, with Fraxel, with good facials. Because this energy is penetrating deeply, we can combine it with anything that's targeting more of the superficial layers. How long is the downtime? You know, downtime I find really depends on the person. I would not say that this has dramatic downtime at all. The reason is because for me, when I have this treatment, 
it's about one day of redness and you can see he's developing some redness it's not too bad i'm going to turn you all the way to the side you can see this line of demarcation from treated to untreated so we're going to work our way down um so the downtime is you're red and swollen a little bit warm for the first day it really goes away within about two hours the redness has subsided that heat sensation has subsided then the next day you can see some little imprints like the little needle pokes in the skin and they'll make some little baby scabs these little baby scabs are visible if you look closely but if you're wearing a tinted sunscreen or you know light makeup they're going to cover pretty well they'll feel a little bit sandy for a couple days and then flake away so it's definitely not something that you need to miss out of work for um it's not it's minimal you know it's minimal can you combine this treatment with fillers you can combine this with fillers absolutely um you know the way depending on how you're injecting fillers because there's such a, a variety of ways to inject and different types if you are doing deeper fillers this is not going to dissolve them it's not going to melt it this thermal effect is completely contained to the skin itself it's not going deeper are you feeling this fan okay it's not going deeper into the fat layers there are other radio frequency treatments that can remodel some of the fat but this isn't going to penetrate to where your fillers are unless of course it was something very superficial then i would maybe advise you to doing it the same day typically not problematic